What's up guys? It's me Diane. So for today's video, I will be sharing you a way on how to create a drip mold here in Revit. So before we get started, if you are new to my channel, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the notification bell so that you are updated every time I upload a new video because I make video tutorials every week. So now we are now here on Revit. So meron tayo dito ng example lang. Uh, bahay. So, for example, um, gusto ko maglagay dito ng drip mold but I cannot use this wall reveal because um, tinry ko na rin siya kanina and sadly, hindi siya applicable sa ating slab. So, for example, ito ay isang slab. So, what I found a better solution to create a drip mold in slab is to create a family. So, paano natin siya gagawin? Go here on file, go in family, and then, no, go here on um, English and open and choose metric generic paste base. Yeah. So, magagawa lang tayo ng uh, void, void extrusion. So, for example, ito yung ating drip mode. So, hindi ko po alam yung um, exact dimensions or lalim na ito, but it is just a video presentation only. So, for example, ito ay 15 millimeters. For example, this is 15. Then, hit check. And then, punta tayo dito sa 3D. And then, go here on front elevation. Change the view in wireframe. And then, select natin yung ginawa nating extrusion. And then, ibaba natin siya. So, for example, this is negative 15. Yan. So, punta tayo dito sa cut. Select natin tong extrusion. And then, select this void. Then, pag pumunta tayo dito sa shaded, meron na tayong ganito. And then, load it into project. So, punta tayo yung 3D. And then, place, place on face. So, choose natin itong face sa ilalim. So, yan. Meron na tayong ganito. So, we can adjust this. So, punta tayo dito sa top view. And then, change natin yung view natin into wireframe. Para makita natin. So, adjust. Here. And then, change again into shade So, we have our drip mold now. So, kung napapansin nyo, masyado siyang maikli, pwede natin siyang i-edit again dito sa reference level. And then, select mo yung ginawa nating uh, void. Extend mo lang siya ng parang ganito. Then again, load into project, overwrite existing version, and then go here on 3D. So, kung napansin nyo, humaba siya, pero hindi pa rin siya ena. Pero, y alam nyo naman na yung, ano, yung idea kung paano siya gumana. So, ayun lang guys. If you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It will help me out a lot para makapag-produce pa ng mga ganitong helpful videos. And guys, if you have any suggestions, questions, or comments, please leave down on the comment section below. And I will try to answer those questions. Again, thank you and God bless.